What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the Cafecito and Kane Show. This is your official 2024 season prediction. Now, I waited. I wanted to do it a little earlier, but I also wanted to wait till fall camp ended. Wanted to make sure we came out of that healthy because, of course, that could affect my predictions. But it seems like we have. We've come out of fall camp relatively healthy. It seems like, you know, all the big pieces are full go. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So, Obviously, we open week one against our rivals, the Florida Gators. We go to the Swamp. Yes, it is a rivalry game. Yes, it's in the Swamp in front of 90,000 people. Yes, it's one of the toughest places to play in the country. And yes, it is week one. A lot of variables could go against Miami here. But I, like many prognosticators around the country, a lot of the college football people all agree that Miami does have the better roster here. They do have the better quarterback they are better in the trenches, especially our, the matchup of our D-line against their O-line. I really like that one. Um, I, I have Miami winning here. It's probably going to be a close game because, again, all those other factors, the crowd, the it being week one, naturally week one, you're going to be playing kind of tight, kind of kind of careful. But I think we're going to lean on our ground game and lean on our offensive line, and I think we're just going to out-physical them, and we're going to – get either a close win here or one that's competitive that we kind of pull away at the end. Then we come home for our home opener for our AC or for our FCS annual tune-up game against FAMU. That's going to be a win. Following week, we face Ball State also at home. We're going to honor the 89 national championship team at the half. That's also going to be a win. Then after that, we go on the road to face South Florida. First time we face South Florida in a few years and Thankfully, this is one of those road trips that we don't have to leave the state of Florida, just like for Gainesville. So not too far to travel. I don't foresee us having too much trouble here. Yes, Byron Brown is a dynamic quarterback and could give our defense fits at times. Another one that could be competitive for the first half, but ultimately I don't think their defense can keep up with our offense and keep pace with our scoring. So I see Miami winning, running away here. Then we come back home to face an old Biggie's foe. We come back home for our ACC opener against Vatek. This is a big one because for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, for whatever reason, we tend to struggle in this game. Once the ACC schedule starts, we tend, you know, we tend to come out flat for whatever reason. But a lot of times it's coming off a of bye week. So this one is not coming off a of bye week. We're hopefully going to be a lot sharper and not going to come out flat. And another reason is because both teams have a really, really high probability of coming into this game ranked. So two ranked opponents, Friday night game, prime time. You got the the national audience to yourself pretty much. How can you not get up for that game? And also there's, there's a little factor that I think a lot of people are overlooking. You're facing a very similar quarterback because you're facing Chiron Drones, right, in the Vatek game. You're going to be facing a very similar quarterback in Byron Brown the week before. So I feel like that's extra preparation for Chiron Drones. So because of that and because the of the magnitude of the game and the atmosphere that hopefully is going to be at the stadium, I could see Miami winning this one. It's going to be a tough one, probably going to be a tight defensive game for a while. But I, I, I really like Miami here as long as we play a clean game. Again, I think we're going to be fine. You're going to notice that as the running theme for this season. Just play a clean game. Don't turn the ball over. No bad penalties. Then we go on the road, and this is a tricky one. We go on the road to face Cal. Now, Cal is not a very good team. They have an excellent running back, arguably the best running back in the ACC, one of the best in the country. And this is a game that might get us in the past. Why? Coming off a big win or loss, or my prediction, a big win over Vatek, probably an emotional game. Uh, then you have the emotional letdown after that. On top of the emotional letdown, you have long travel to California, which if I'm not mistaken, is the farthest we've traveled for a game since we faced Washington back in 2000, which is crazy. That's 24 years ago. But I digress. All those factors aside, we got veterans like Cam Ward, Kiko Mauinoa, Damian Martinez, Simeon Barrow, you got a lot of guys with experience that are going to remain composed and remain focused on the task at hand. I don't think that leadership is going to let the team come out flat. So I like Miami here. I think we're going to win this one pretty convincingly, but careful. If we don't come to play, 
Cal's going to come out swinging and we got to be ready for it. We might have to weather an early storm, but just this was this is one we could get caught in if we're not careful, but I think we will be. I think we'll be we'll be prepared. Then after that is when things get a little tricky. We face Louisville on the road. I'm going to tell you right now, I have this one as a loss. I'll tell you why. Um, obviously, they're a very well-coached team. They showed that against us last season. It was a very competitive back-and-forth game. I thought we had them for a while, but Coach Brom seems to have been the one guy that really got to Lance Gidry and really kind of figured out his defense, figured out a hole in his defense, basically. And, you know, it, it turned out well for Louisville. And look, Louisville had a good season last year really with inferior talent. They're coming into this season after having killed it in the transfer portal. They, they bring in guys like uh, Corey Brooks and Penny Boone and Tyler Shook. Um, I know they have an injury to one of their wide receivers, but, but to me, I think they added enough talent for them to be a really formidable opponent. And this one's going to be on the road in their house, maybe a night game. I just feel like if there's a game where maybe we, hit a snag. We turn the ball over a couple of times. Maybe we have, we're not as sharp. It's going to happen. There's going to be a couple of games where we're not very sharp. I have a feeling this will be one of them. Again, it's coming off a of bye week. We've struggled for years coming off a of bye weeks. So, so if we're going to lose one, honestly, this is my top choice. Then after that loss, there's no time to feel sorry for yourself because right after that, you got Florida state at home, the game of the season. I think Miami wins this one. I said it last year. I predicted FSU would beat us. I was correct. It was a lot more competitive than I thought it would be. And we basically did it with no quarterback in their house. Okay. Or I shouldn't say no quarterback, a very inexperienced quarterback that clearly was not ready. Now it's back at home. Now you got Cam Ward. Now you got weapons. Now you got an even more veteran D line with more guys who can get after the QB. And they, in my opinion, downgraded a quarterback. They don't have Jordan Travis anymore. They lost a lot of guys on offense. And, you know, this is a little bit of a cheat. I know we did already see them play one game. Their offense looked not good, okay? And it, they looked very beatable. So for many reasons, I have Miami winning this one. Like I said, last year I had us losing to them. But I also said in that same prediction that it would be the last one for a while. I think we're going to start our own little winning streak. Their little three-game winning streak, I think, is done, and we're going to start one of our own in 2024. And then after FSU, you got Duke. This is a big one for kind of different reasons. It's Manny Diaz coming to town. It's at home. Hard to say if this is going to be a day game or a night game. I would think it's probably going to be a day game because even if we're – ranked, let's say we're, we're red hot, we're ranked top 10, Duke is going to come in probably – out of the top 25, they might be like three and four or something. So I could see this one being like a mid afternoon game. Um, I, I just, I, I don't see any way we lose this one unless we come in woefully unprepared, unless we come in again, emotional hangover, still celebrating the winning as FSU and just kind of taking your eye off the ball, so to speak. Again, this is where I think the veteran leadership on this team will keep the rest of the guys focused. And I have us, beating Duke by blowout. Then after Duke, you have Georgia Tech on the road. Again, bit of a cheat because I got to see Georgia Tech already a few days ago. They are a lot better than I thought, okay? Um, they struggled mightily on defense last year. They didn't in week one, or sorry, I should say week zero against Florida State. They looked excellent. Open field tackling improved a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I have us losing this game. I just, I don't know, call it a gut feeling in Atlanta, it's, I don't know what their record is going to be by then because Georgia Tech does have a bit of a tougher schedule. Uh, let's see how it plays out. I don't know how, if they're going to be ranked or how highly they're going to be ranked when we get there, but I have a feeling that's going to be a night game. Of course, the storyline surrounding the whole not taking a knee thing last year and the miracle comeback that they had. I I don't, I don't know. My, I don't like this one. Um, I have us losing this one. So right there, you got your second loss. The team's now going to have a renewed sense of urgency. Like, okay, that's two. That's two in the conference. We can't lose anymore. And I don't think we do. We come back home to face Wake Forest. It's senior day, final home game of the season. November, it's going to be beautiful weather in Miami. Hopefully, it'll be a nice crowd, and we get a nice, convincing win against Wake Forest. Then we go on the road the following week, final weekend of the season, to face another former Big East foe in Syracuse, one that used to give us fits back in the late 90s. Different story now, 
They have a new head coach this year. Who knows how, you know, checked out they're going to be by the end of the season. Who knows how good of a record they're going to have. I'm not sure, but too many question marks on their side. There's probably going to be a spot in the ACC championship on the line for this game for Miami. It's too important. I think Miami gets the job done here. So that gives you a final regular season record of 10 and 2.